All right, here we go on problem number seven. We've got another coordinate plane with a triangle drawn, and our problem goes like this. The coordinates of triangle ABC are shown on the coordinate plane below. Triangle ABC is dilated from the origin by a scale factor of R equals two. So remember, to dilate means you're gonna stretch or compress. We've got a scale factor greater than one, so this one's gonna be a stretch. And um, it's quite simple to do a dilation. The one thing we really just need is the coordinates of points A, B, and C. So A is located at three comma two, B is at zero, negative one, and C is at negative three, positive one. And so to do the dilation, um, we're going to go to get a prime. We're going to take our r factor of 2, and we're going to multiply it by a. So we get 6, 4. To get b prime, we're going to do our scale factor of 2 times b. So 2 times 0 is 0, negative 2. And to get C prime, we're going to take uh, 2 times negative 3, 1, negative 6, comma 2. So these are the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime. Now, the question is, is triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, remember this squiggle means is similar to triangle ABC. So, in order to be able to answer that question, we need to think about what, uh, what's the definition of similar or similarity. So, in order for two things to be similar, corresponding sides must be proportional. And uh, the other part is that corresponding angles are equal. Then the other thing we can consider, and let's see, let me stretch this out a little bit. The other thing that we can consider is the definition of dilation. Dilation preserves measurements of angles. So we know that the dilated sides um, have the same angles. And let me go ahead and graph this. I'll go to 6, 4, 0, negative 2, and negative 6, 2 and get my ruler out and sketch that triangle and you'll be able to see okay it's the longest ruler in the world you'll be able to see that it's the same size and shape and that the sides are just longer so uh, the answer to this is yes, and that's because um, each of the sides is exactly two times longer and all the angles are equal. Let's take a look at problem number eight. Problem number eight looks complicated, so I'm going to do that one in a separate video for you guys. Thanks for watching problem number seven.